Now to the latest on the fears over MP safety. Rishi Sunak has warned that the UK is descending into mob rule. He was speaking after the government announced a £31 million security package to help protect MPs from threats. But one man who's not impressed with the new scheme is Justice Minister Mike Freer, who's not standing, of course, at the next general election because of threats to his safety. He says the extra funding misses the point because it's not actually going to get to the root cause of the problem. That's something that we've been saying on this show all along to go over that now. I'm joined by our political editor, Chris Hope. Chris, Rishi has finally said where mob rule is upon us. Why, Chris, did it take the mob storming Parliament or being outside Parliament for, for them to finally wake up? Mob rule has existed in Batley, where the grammar teacher school has been in hiding. Mob rule is in many parts of Britain. And when you talk about it, you get called an Islamophobe. Now, it finally seems they're waking up. Because they have to, because of last Wednesday night, we saw how the the protests outside Parliament, the, the feeling of pressure on the Labour Party about safety and the concern for Labour MPs forced the Speaker, as he admitted, um, to, to change the way, change the rules of Parliament, give um, the Labour Party a, an opt-out, a way to vote on their own policy on the Gaza uh, conflict. And that has caused huge havoc. I'm setting on the toy back benches. He's got 90, 93, I think, MPs now have a vote of no confidence or want to vote of no confidence in the Speaker. What uh, the PM has done here, he's used language which you were using last mm. week, Martin, in your show. He says there's a growing consensus that mob rule mm. is replacing democratic rule. £31 million. Pounds. There's a new protocol agreed last night with um, police chiefs and the PM defending democracy policing protocol. And this means that in future, uh, the police will be, have to be notified of an upcoming event, 48,000 advance, and that will allow the police to talk to the MP or candidate to the election, find out any risk they've got, protest at the homes of elected representatives, MPs and councillors will be seen as intimidatory under Section 42 of the Criminal Justice and Police Act. Other measures too. This is a this is ob obvious. £31 million, pounds, private security for those who need it, um, a hotline for anyone who feels intimidated. Mike Freer's point now appears to be, well, that's all. That's that's the on the outside. But why not get back to the root of it? Why not apply the laws you already have? And earlier, our colleague Gloria de Piero spoke to Lord Walney, a former Labour MP, who's been doing some work about policing and making it automatic democracy safe. Here's what I had to say to her. People are not making this up. You can see the level often of um, intimidation that is uh, intended on, uh, uh, on this. I mean, I've, been, I've gone into a defence event recently where I had you, everyone who ran the gauntlet was being shouted at, screamed at, horrific things said to them, microphone, uh, megaphone in their face. And that is not about changing people's minds. Look, the right to protest, the right to debate, the right to get your point across to your Member of Parliament is a foundation of our democracy. But what is happening often at the moment is not that. It's about an implied threat of menace. And a big physical protest is only one way of many ways in which you can get your point across. Actually, I think we need to reset the balance and, and remind people that if they want to change people's minds, we've, we've got an elector, uh, a process of elections to do that, and you can put yourself forward and you can win a majority. And if you can't get a majority of people to agree with you, it's not really an acceptable subject to think you can menace people who are there into doing what you want. And that's what we saw in the House of Commons last week. And that's why a lot of people are thinking, hang on a minute, this isn't right. We need to reset the balance here. That's right. And uh, Lord Walney is saying it's a balance. And of course, Amnesty and other groups are saying, well, hang on, it's all very well, you don't want the mob, or the, the, the concern about the mob to deal with the actual legitimate protests. And that's the balance the police will have to find in coming weeks. Well, they've got the bill. Have they got the will? It seems to be they're standing off the mob and soft-soaping them. Chris Hope, thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Now